Leather armor, don't care. Notice that this like um, game has like a sort of like anti escape mechanism in it, which is nice. Oh, James of the Prey. We got ourselves another member of like you know of the Order of Darkness here. Ow. Well, that hurt a little bit. There's some uh, red layer gloves. You know, I may want to get more HP. I've only got so much. There's a ghost there, apparently. Arsenic. So I'm to make holy war and stuff. Let's use that up. I might use that arsenic. We'll see. I might turn like the you know my thing into holy war again. Cause that you was actually pretty powerful. Excellent. Our boots. Well, these ones are good enough. Kill him. Ah, malaria. Okay, let's go take this then. To make ourselves in our potion to use. I'll drop that. Apparently my armor's getting badly worn. So it's now getting less defense. God, there's gonna be a lot of skeletons in there. Uh, that's a nice horn cap, but whatever. Yeah, something you know, if you have like certain armor, it'll protect you against like certain types of attacks. That's why a face hit won't hurt me as much, because I got, you know, protection in the face. Alright, let's go up to this thing. Now, I think, by the way, it's possible to do dangerous alchemy. I haven't yet, like, had anything bad happen, but it's possible that you can, like, blow yourself up with alchemy, so you have to be very careful with it, but... You know, it's like the same thing with everything else. Alright, let's, let's do this to him. Too far? There's a nice big hit to him. We'll kill that. Kill that one too. That one. Oh, this is hurting! That hurt a lot. Heal up a little bit. Pick that up. Nope, wasn't there. I'm gonna go pick up one of the bandages I left, you know, behind. There we go. So we got to see crossbow in action there. You basically fire a bolt at someone's face and they go down. Well, more proficiency in battle, I guess. Nice, more uh, bandages if we need them. Don't 
Doink. There's a one mace. I didn't slash that guy, apparently. I actually did that wrong, but whatever. A purple whip. Interesting. There's an excellent yellow vest, but eh, whatever. We'll keep going with my arm, I think. This is ruined, apparently. That's not good. Oh, a centaur. So that guy's pretty dangerous. Ow, oh, he got hit on me. All right, so this is badly worn. Let's do that to repair its integrity, so it's good. Nymphus in the house. I guess nymphs will only move for like so fast for so long before they get tired. Doink. I see armor. Good armor. I'm still stealthy too. So yeah, this stealthy thing down here, when you're basically stealthy, it means like you have like, you know, a higher chance of like, you know, avoiding detection. So enemies won't come investigating what's going on. And they sling to basically load that, I guess. Oh well. Oh, these are good. Louder, louder, louder! Well, there goes Glix, the corrupted, powerful, uh, Night. That's something I know about this OST. Like it has those moments where it's really, really loud, and then it's like just nothing here. I'm just gonna drop that. It's cool to have like ranged weapons, but those aren't really my forte. Let's have that griffin come to me. Huh, I found a sling. 
Don't really care. Doink. Well, isn't our Mandragora potion, but... No pet. All right, well, whatever. I'm just flying through the dungeon this time. It's a lot easier to use the keyboard. Arsenic. I don't have any. Oh, yes, I do. Right there. Let's see if I find something to, you know, replace this with, I guess. Oh, she called for reinforcements. Damn it. Killed it all. All right, just so it completely restore health, so I want it. There's a room of passage. I haven't really found any good shields like I did last time. I was finding good items, I think, last time, which helped a lot with like getting really, really far. Do I think this game has been made a little bit easier for some reason? Which is, you know, probably not a bad thing. There's that guy. I wonder if I can throw this at him. Oh, that wasn't right. I got feared. I'm gonna take a hit here. I might die. I'm lower I'm feared. Hooray! I survived somehow. So I was gonna try and throw this at something, but I guess I used the wrong thing there. I actually have to press the throw button, not the uh, use button. So that's my bad. There's a nice horn helmet. I wish you could like auto equip like you know. More than just weapons. You can all equip weapons, but you can't um, all equip armor, which is a bit of an issue. Nice. There's a woman's armor. I may have done that wrong. Oh well. It takes a while to learn like all the me mechanics of like you know the, the move function thing. That's a lot of stuff. That I'm gonna kill. Shoulder sir, don't care. Okay, let's combine those. Drop that. Pick that up. I think I'm gonna like use a bandage before going to 
Going to the next level, maybe. Well, let's use that one. Alright, I think we're good to go, so let's just get going. Now, I kind of wish like, I could, I could like, click here and I could go right all the way down to, like, you know, that point. That would be something nice for, like, a mouse feature in this game, but whatever. Alright, I'm able to stand more damage. I keep finding all the damn guys. Too far. Wow, that's a lot of damage. No, we're not going to take that. Yoink! Where is the, you know, this person? Oh, I got confused. Hey, assassin armor. We'll pick that up. I'm an assassin armor now. Forgot I was still confused there. Doink. Yeah, the thing about the Slayer's is all about its mobility. Like, you can do lots of stuff with it all over the place. Oh, there comes two of them. Doink, doink. I've already got a good region, I guess. Uh, recovers magical power. Completely useless to me, because I'm not using magic. Let that guy come to me. Yeah, I can see this being a really good game to kill time on, like, your phone, if you haven't really picked on that already. I made, like, a, you know, a nice little roguelike of the week for this game, because, you know, this is a game I think that could work really well on the phone. It's got a little bit of depth to it. Miles kills stuff with it. Off we go. I wonder how far we'll get. We got to this part like last time when I basically was, you know, starting out with the game. A try, dude. Now you have to, have to watch out for this guy because he can attack three times. I apparently can charge. That's good to know. Another guy, why not? Ow. There's a kite shield. I kinda like being aggressive though, so I'm not gonna pick up that kite shield. Uh disgusting skeleton monster, acid shock plus violet fumes. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm hoosing! I don't know why I'm fighting anymore!
You're not sure what this is. I mean, he'll say, what, what ends are underground? Interesting. Well, it's worth knowing about if Naga Guardian's guarding the, the way out. That'll be interesting. Let's get a running start. Kayak neutral, you die. A steel um, sword, stand a warfare tool. Uh, unborn assassin and elusive deadly foe born from sorcery. Evade plus cutting edge makes enemies bleed. Well, he's dead. My weapon's getting badly worn. There's a green bow, shoots arrows unloaded. Cool. We're not going to use that, but whatever. I keep finding magic potions for some reason, I don't know why, but whatever. I'll maybe use the magic char character next. Let's see here. Might want to use some of these scrolls I've been stacking up. I don't think they're all that beneficial to keep around, so... I want more damage. Let's use it up. So we got items, life forms, makes enemies retreat. So those are all the items around me. And those are all the enemies around me. There's 19 enemies to fight. A centaur, that's not gonna be fun. Lower bracelet. Um, okay, those go around my arms. I, I don't really care about those. Don Thomas, the middle aged knight with a menacing like groom mustache and goatee. Slender and agile for his age. Well, he's dead. There's apparently a joust helm up here. That's cool. I bet this actually protects my head and face, so I'll put it on. I have to say, this is a lot different than my user experience this game. Whoops. Went back up. So that's an unborn assassin who's evading me there. Oh, my weapon's badly damaged. Hooray! It still works if I confuse to so basically run past him like that. Cool. Uh, I can't read. Because I'm confused, right. Forgot. How long am I going to bleed? Not too long, apparently. Good to know. Doink! Excellent! Seal battle axe again. Nice! Gonna do lots of damage to this thing. Damn it, I'm gonna get confused again. Uh, there's a siren. That'll be bad.
Doink. Die. Uh, playing school of Pyre Spark. Why not? I'll pick it up for a little bit more attacks when I need them. So I think this is going pretty well. Nice! So I can actually do that type of attack. That's good to know. Alright, here's a fire gold red gem staff. A staff of a shiny ruby gem. Two hand bonus worn. So I get basically more damage from basically doing with two hand. Which I am right now. So let's use this right now. More of these guys. Apparently I can't, you know, do my thing with this staff, so that's worth noting. Note to self, don't use the staff and expect to be able to do all my stuff. It's getting only higher at this point, so that's good. Halfway through the dungeon, things are getting a little bit harder. Guardian. Nice. Our statue. Great, two of these guys. Those up. Another Umbar assassin. Antimony, just based on much of light blah blah. Let's make our potion, shall we? Here's a dungeon layout. Wooden mace, don't care. You know, this is also a pretty good game for the PC, too, if you want to kill time, I think. It's got that feel for it. Doink. Tyr Mordoroth, a member of the Orb of Darkness. Another one of these guys, why not? Skull Helm, perfects head and face, prevents panic. I wouldn't mind not being panicked, so... I'm gonna pick this up and put it on. Maybe let's keep it around. Mm. 
Nah, we'll pass that up. I like being offensive. Oh, crap. Doink, doink, doink. So apparently my inventory is getting full again, that's nice. We blocked it. Gotta watch out for that. Spiked hammer, 4d2 plus 2 plus 1. That thing looks awesome. I think I'm going to ditch one of these, because they can backfire. Lucy Forge, the high-ranking officer in the service of the Cult of Darkness. He's got Fireball. Okay, I don't want to mess with him, so... Let's try this. Boom! Well, there's a hit on him. That's fun to do. I'll let him come to me and it'll hurt him. Well, I cast that spell. Gotta see a spell cast. Air Demon. Red shield. Now, why am I going back up here? I just want to see what items I guess are around. I guess I can pick that back up. I can use it now. Let's heal up a little bit. I'm going to be going toward Guardian, right? So he's going to be level 16 and he's going to hurt a lot. I'm taking a beating here. Don't know why I hurt so much. Probably because my staff is almost dead. Okay. Let's drop that. I'll use this now for a little bit. I'm actually gonna pick this up and wheel it. So I'll drop me back to the, like the defensive stance again, but whatever, that's fine. The Ophian Guardian, the strongest warrior of the Ophian race, bow and range attack. Nothing to him, luckily. 